Medicare can be extremely confusing, especially when trying to figure out if you're going to choose a Medicare Advantage plan, a Medicare supplement, stay on original Medicare, or choose a standalone prescription drug plan with original Medicare. In the midst of all the confusion, I want to simplify why a lot of people are now choosing to do a Medicare Advantage plan and go over with you the five reasons why so many people are converging into Medicare Advantage plans and exactly the benefits and the risk in those plans. Stick around, I'll be back in just a second. All right guys, so, so far we've covered three parts of the five reasons, or three reasons of the five reasons why so many people now are looking at Medicare Advantage plans, why they're gaining so much popularity. We've covered the extra benefits of, that are part one, uh, those being like dental, hearing, vision, over-the-counter benefits, gym memberships, and talked about other stuff, but those are the five reasons why most people are looking at Medicare Advantage plans and the costs associated if they had to buy that insurance outside of the Medicare Advantage plan and accumulate the total cost. Anyway, that, that was video one. Video two, we talked about um, the predictable cost um, being the max out of pocket. You go from zero premium plans up to the max out of pocket that re CMS regulates, which right now is $8,850. All plans typically are about half of that uh, in most of our markets. And then the third thing was how do you insure yourself for risk that Medicare Advantage plans have? That's the major two risks are hospital copays. And then if you were to have chemo treatments with Part B chemotherapy drugs or go to 20%, it's very expensive. How can you buy a small ancillary product that covers hospitalization and it covers cancer? We covered that in, in the third video. And now we're going to talk about focusing on preventative care. Preventative care was this, you know, it's should be what doctors are educated on in school. Um, it's really about continuity of care. It's really about the doctor working with you and working with sometimes the health plan. So Medicare Advantage plans have this continuity of care model in place. They will a lot of times engage with you as a, a, as a client to their plan to ensure that you're taking your, your, your medications on a regular basis. If you need help ordering those medications or being put on a mail order, maybe you're taking a blood pressure medication or a diabetic medication or insulin. And that's something that really drives whether or not your health is at risk at a high level or at a low level. Obviously, continuity of care helps lower the, the risk. It ho helps lower what they call medical loss ratios. Medical loss ratios, if the health plan is being more profitable, then they put more money back into the plan. And how Medicare Advantage plans are regulated by the federal government, they will not allow them to profit but a certain percentage amount, but it's a small percentage. All the additional profit has to go back in, in a sense, go back into the plan to increase benefits. Now, obviously, there's salaries and bonuses and pay and things like that, operational costs that, that are incurred with a company, just like we have a company and I have employees and we have uh, overhead costs of office and things like that. So take all that aside, they're going to put back into uh, trying to keep people at the lowest risk possible. So that means the health plan is engaging with the doctor, specialist, hospital, and, and what I like to call kind of the circle of love. They should be holding hands with everybody involved when it comes to your care. Now your level of care changes. You may be healthy for five years and all of a sudden run into a hospitalization issue, have to go to a specialist, set up an operation, and then you're working with your primary care, your specialist in a hospital, and then maybe rehab afterwards. So in, in, on paper and in theory, there should be some level of continuity of care or hand-holding around all those practitioners, hospital, therapy, and you when it comes to managing your health back to a healthy place and then moving forward. Reality is we live, live a life, as I say, there's people involved and sometimes the ball is dropped. But in theory, Here's why Medicare Advantage plans are so excellent in what they do. One of the things they've done for years is provided ongoing annual preventative care services. This is going to be like your bone mesh measurements, colorectal, prostate screens, immunization, flu shots, mammogram, all your well woman physicals, and all the things that ladies have to go through uh, and experience that us guys do not. Yeah, those are all provided. They also now will cover for diabetic screenings, cardio cardiovascular, uh, depression, uh, drugs, I mean all types of screening. So if there's a risk to run a high cost, there's usually a preventative service to catch that early. And I like to say, say it like this, an ounce of prevention is worth more than a pound of cure. So it's a lot cheaper to catch something by co covering your cost for preventive and having you go in to do a wellness exam every year and they running you through a process of doing a wellness or a physical examination or an annual exam, they call them wellness exams. And then maybe some carriers will have a questionnaire they're asking you um, 
kind of fact-finding questions. And now Medicare Advantage plans are even doing what they call health risk assessment. So if we do an enrollment with a client, we ask, actually ask if we can do a health risk assessment. Those assessment questions go back to the doctor, goes back to the health plan, and it's an assessment. It's a quick way to identify this person runs a risk for you know, uh, depression, and depression can run a risk for these health conditions, or they have uh, high blood pressure, or they've been in the hospital over the last year, and so these assessments fa factor into the same thing that preventative does. Prevent is to prevent sickness. So preventative is something you can use on the plan. The great benefit about pre preventative care is it has no cost involved to you. So you can go in, the doctor can schedule out your specialist, so the doctor can schedule out your preventative care services, and then you have no cost of those preventative care, and then they can catch things early. And then if they do catch something, the plan should create this continuity of care, or what I call holding hands, including holding your hand through the process to bring you back down from maybe a higher risk to a lower risk and now managing over that health. Guys, here in a few minutes, we're going to be finishing up with our fifth one. Stick around on our fifth video. If you have any questions, do reach out to us. We'd love to, to be able to walk you through the process of making your life easy by making Medicare simple. That's what we're here for. We'll talk to you soon.